look at this. I got me a Proco Red. Now, I've been wondering, well, I've kind of gotten pretty far with amp simulation and with my production skills and whatnot, if I do say so myself. So yeah, and now I'm wondering, well, what's the next step for me personally? Because with every new project, with every new album, I kind of try to figure out where can I improve? What could I do next to challenge myself? And right now I feel like getting into some real gear, some real hardware for my guitars might be the next step for me. And today I'm making a small step, oh, look at this. And I'm checking out the Proco Red, a very classic distortion pedal. And with most amp simulators that I tried, I actually really like this pedal. And I also watched a couple of demos of it. And especially Ola England's demo convinced me quite a bit that I just wanted to try this out for myself. Oh, wow. Now this has some weight to it. I love it. So there's just our power in, input, output, the knobs. Oh, they feel so nice. Some quality knobs. I can really appreciate knobs that have a very nice resistive feel to them. Oh, let's try it out, shall we? Well, in, in this particular video, I want to try and compare some of my best amp simulation tones against a Proco Red. So I'm, I will effectively use this as a kind of preamp with all the distortion in it and whatnot. And sending this through impulse, and spot, impulse responses and see what happens. And if it sounds amazing, I'll keep it. If it doesn't convince me, then I'll send it back and we shall see. So let's plug it in right here. Let's plug this in right there. Can you see? Okay. Let's plug this in right here. As you can see, I, I already prepared everything. I also got the Boss Super Overdrive in here as a booster, then into the Red, because the Red has a pretty nasty kind of distortion that I personally really like, but it can still benefit a little bit from that pre-boost and with the mid-range boost. So now I'm testing this out with Reaxis. Before I do anything, I'll just show you my general go-to tone right now. Oh, you need a different pick. And different position so you can see well. It's a massive tone. Um, so how should we go about this? First of all, let me turn off the gate in here and the preamp, but I'm gonna keep the power amp and the cap section on in Reaxis. And now I will send this hardware chain through that. First, I've gotta switch to that hardware chain with different cable and turn that on, of course, and then Switch the input in here. Ooh, okay, the red is already on. So there's our gate, here's our boost. Now let's engage the red. Oh, that 
sounds nice. Gotta turn up the volume a little bit. It seems quieter. Let's turn up the... Ooh! Okay, my tone is already all the way up. Can you actually see that well? Yeah. If you want to see what the difference in power amp does. It's not just overall gain increase, it's also an extra level of saturation and EQ curve that the power amp naturally applies. I feel like the EL34 are a little bit too much for this. The Proco Red already inherently has a very gnarly and girthy tone, so you don't want to go too heavy on that with the power amp section. So let's switch to the 6L6, which sounds a bit tighter. I like it. Switch again. Okay, back to re access. Gotta turn it down. And I was on the other tubes. You know what, let me tweak the tone a little bit to something that will get closer to the nastiness of the red. Uh, yeah, something like this. So I switched to lead one channel on the red voicing, I guess you would say. Engage the stomp. <laughs> Okay, let's switch back. Oh, I do notice quite the difference here. What I notice is the the kind of saturation the red provides f feels much juicier, much chunkier, and especially you notice it in the mid range. It's, there's more of it there without sounding overly distorted. For example, when I just ring out the palm mute, notice there's not a lot of distortion here. I'm turning off the noise gate, so the noise gate is not choking the tone. Okay, but still, in the way it distorts, it just 
feels a bit more organic to me. It's interesting still, because you know, it feels like it doesn't distort too much on your palm mills. But when you just go on playing, you notice there's plenty of distortion there. already too much. It's like at 12 o'clock I get a good I get a good a good amount of distortion from a rim tone. Yeah, yeah, okay, back to re-access.
I gotta play with it a little bit, and I notice I really like it. Hang on, this might... I think my microphone hasn't been... <laughs> Sorry, so the batteries on my left mic just died and I don't have any new ones. We're gonna have to make two! Now let's try it out with the 7-string. First of all, re axis so we have our reference tone. Okay, and now again the Proco Red.
Yep, yep, I, I like it quite a bit so far. So I'm gonna have to do some more testing, do a couple of test recordings and whatnot, see how it fits in the mix and if it actually is an improvement on my tones or not so much. But so far I do notice how much juicier and chunkier and more saturated it is. It, I mean, of course, this is just a comparison against Reaxes, but I, in my opinion, Reaxes does pretty much everything well. <laughs> you can't really go wrong with that. You can do modern tone, tones really well. You can do really nasty tones really well. You can do clean tones really well with it. Okay, so that's it for this video. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And I shall see you next time.